Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I, I know I'm a little late with your reading today, but it's because I was reading all your comments, you guys. Um, I love your comments, you know. Thank you so much for all, all the sweet things you say to me, but, like, I'm I'm reading your stories, you know, and I'm, I got to thinking what a great outlet for you guys to just tell your side of the story. Man, I love it that you do that, you guys. Um, and thank you so much for sharing everything with me. You know what I mean? Um, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for the comments, all the cool smiley face emojis, you know. Um, thank you so much for everything. And uh, thank you to my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. Yeah, Cancer, I was totally getting into all your comments today. Thank you so much. All right, so Cancer, there is a masculine. I feel like it's a masculine energy from your past, okay? They're about to come back around, all right? Um, this person from your past is about to, I feel like they're going to show up. Um, they're just going to show up on your doorstep, kind of out of the blue, all right? They're getting a lot of um, support. I want to say from family. It feels like family to me. Okay. And their family is talking them into coming back around. They're really urging this person to come back in and do the right thing. Apologize, get you back. Their family wants you with this person. Okay. Um, and their, their heart is pounding, but their family is saying, just take a deep breath. It'll be okay. You know, so um, they're already talking to their family about how nervous they are about approaching you, okay? I feel like this person is like, they're sort of in and out of it. Like, um, like one minute they, they really want to do it. They're all gung-ho, you know, they're ready to come forward. And the next minute they talk themselves out of it. But their heart is literally pounding. They're, um, they know they're coming towards you very quickly, okay? Their family is telling them, you know, you're very abundant. Um, you're very sweet, kind. Whenever I see the sunflowers, I just think of your personality. Sunflowers stand for abundance, but I think I think of your personality, okay? You're sweet. You're kind. You're high vibing with all of this yellow, okay? You're like a treasure. Uh, I want to say a treasure trove. So the things that you touch are like you make everything magical, I don't know. There's something about your energy. And that's what the family is saying. Like, everything you touch seems to grow. Okay? Um, and, uh, yeah, they don't want to lose you from the family. All right? They want you back in. Maybe it's because of your abundance. I don't know. Uh, I feel like there's this this family is saying nothing but great things about you. They're they're describing you as like empress energy, right? They're talking about um maybe how you you could have possibly created some kind of platform or you could even be like on stage, okay? You could be some kind of performer or something, but um, everybody seems to be loving what you're doing. I feel like this whole family has been watching you on your journey, watching you on a glow up, okay, watching you. I, I just feel like there's these family members are in here somewhere, okay? They're all watching you. Like, the whole family is watching you, and... Um, and they have been, and they're seeing that you've been crowned. They're seeing you in this place of maybe you're getting a, a lot of like public attention or status or recognition for what you do, okay? They may see you as a light worker here, um, touching the lives of other people. So they're talking about what you're doing. They may be talking about how much money you make how abundant you are, how everything you touch seems to be turning to gold here, and that they, um, they're they talking about your personality as well. You, you've got some innocence here, okay, with these pigtails. Um, so, yeah, I feel like these people are telling this masculine, look, you're not going to find another person like cancer. You're never going to find another cancer. 
you got to get back in there and do the right thing. We know you're nervous. We know your heart is racing. But just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. You got to get back in there and apologize. Um, they're also telling this person this is a strategic move, okay, from these from this family. They're telling they're telling this person that um, you're about to get new love, or maybe some of these family members already know that you're you could have recently met someone new. Um, but you've got someone new coming in here, and um, they're using that to kind of freak out this masculine. Okay, if you if you look at this picture, they're talking about you getting someone new. This masculine hears it, and they come running. Okay, they don't want you with anybody else. So their family is really talking you up. Um, and trying to convince this masculine to come forward and apologize. And I feel like with the rivals, they are about to show up, okay? Now, when they come forward, you are you know, you may get like um, a spiritual warning from the divine. Like um, you may hear loud noises, a honking horns, something crashing, some kind of kid screaming outside. It could be anything, okay? Something about crows, too, and blackbirds, you guys. I've had a ton of them in my yard. Just the noises that they make, that's what I'm hearing right now. Like a flock of birds making all kinds of ruckus. That could happen right before this person shows up. I feel like spirit's going to give you some kind of sign, a warning, a signal um, that this person is about to show up at your house, okay? Okay. Um, they're just going to come forward. They're just going to kind of pop up on you. Ooh, what is this? Soulmate connection. Okay. What else can you show me for cancer? Yeah, they're showing up at your house. I cannot make it up, cancer, okay? I can't make this up. This soulmate, this is a past life soulmate connection. It could be a twin flame, doesn't have to be though. But they're coming to your home, okay? Um, and I feel like you're not gonna wanna let them inside. You're gonna wanna have this talk um, outside, okay? But they're coming in to face you, Cancer. You're about to see this person face to face, I'm telling you. And we are in retrograde. This person really does not want to let you go, okay? Um, they may need to travel a distance to get to you. So you could live in like a different town, a different state, a different country. Uh, but they've made their decision here. Okay, they've made their decision. They don't want to let you go. They want their wish fulfillment back. You're about to see this person, Cancer. All right, so what's going to happen here for Cancer? Hermit energy. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo. That was a confirmation too. Heavy Virgo energy. I feel like this person is alone. They don't have anybody else in their life, and they're completely stuck on you, Cancer. They see you moving forward. They see you over them. I feel like this person is wondering, do you have any feelings left for them? Okay, because they certainly can't stop thinking about you. This person's all up in their head. I mean, they're with the hangman here, they are stuck on you, Cancer. Completely stuck on you. Give me one more on this three of wands. Yeah. Cancer, I, I feel like they're wondering. They're, this person's going to ask you a question. Do you still love me? Or has it been too long? Did I stay away from you too long? You know, this person is worried about how they broke your heart, how they turned their back on you, and the amount of time in between. Like this person should have come in a long time ago, possibly years ago. It could have been up to three years or longer that this person, you haven't heard from them. Yeah, and they're thinking, did this make you move on? You're out here having this victory now, Cancer. You've been put through it, and you had to heal from that all by yourself. And this person stayed away from you for years, 
and now they're about to show up. You know, um, you may even tell this person when they come back around that you're just moving forward. You may even tell this person that, yes, you still have love for them, but you're good all on your own in Emperor Energy. Okay? Um, that's for some of you. Yep, Emperor, Empress Energy. Wow, Cancer. You're coming in very powerful, but this person's showing up. Okay? And they're not coming empty-handed. They're going to be bringing a gift or maybe they're bringing, I'm just picking up on, maybe they owe you something, maybe money, or they have something of yours and they're returning it. Um, but this person is, in fact, returning to your life. Okay? Yeah, and you're taking the stance like you're protecting yourself. You've been betrayed by this person before and you don't trust them anymore. They're coming to you as a page kind of sheepish. They're going to be they're going to be very gentle in this communication. They're scared, okay? Their heart's pounding. They're scared. Um, but they're you know, it's kind of like they're a little bit shyness. They know they wronged you. So they're feeling intimidated, but they've got to come in and apologize for what they did. They've got to face the same sword that they stuck in your back. Okay, you're going to visibly see that this person is nervous, sweating, maybe even not knowing what to say. Like, how do they apologize for everything that they've done here? You see this person as a manipulator, a player. You, uh, they could have left you feeling very used and confused. Okay, that's what it feels like to me. But now this person, I feel like they want to work on things with you, Cancer. This person, um, they could have put you in a third party, had in and out energy, right? Um, maybe they didn't tell you the truth about a third party situation. They, they maybe um, you feel like they knew exactly what they were doing when they got with you, okay? And you just don't trust this anymore. You're going to be looking for any kind of red flag off this person. You, you, even if it's a simple bead of sweat coming down their forehead, man, you're going to be looking for every, anything. Anything. And Cancer, I do feel like this is your chance to tell your side of the story, to tell this person how they made you feel. I, I'm just getting that you're not going to be holding anything back when this person shows up okay if they want a conversation cancer you're definitely going to be telling them the truth about how they made you feel okay i feel like um spirit wants you to handle this with grace though my darlings okay don't say or do anything that you'll have any regrets for later all right, the spirit wants you to stay pure and free of any kind of burdens. All right, what is this one? Moon card. Yeah. Cancer, this person is afraid to hear the truth from you. That's what I'm getting here off of this. They're afraid to hear your side. They, they are really dreading hearing how they made you feel from your own mouth. You know what I'm saying? They know that you've got some choice words for them. That's one of the reasons why they're so nervous and scared. Okay, because they have to confront what they did to you. And Cancer, when you start telling your story, I feel like you're, it's not going to be, like you're not going to be fighty about it. You're just going to point blank tell them exactly how you, how you feel. You're going to make this person feel horrible for what they did to you like they may even start crying as you tell them your side okay so it's going to get emotional after that because i feel like this person they they do already regret how they treated you but hearing hearing how you're going to explain how you feel is gonna i'm telling you it's going to make this person cry they're going to feel horrible, horrible for how they treated you, okay? 
So yeah, they're going to get very emotional. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Virgo energy, um, heavy Cancer energy, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What else can you show me for Cancer? So you're going to make this person cry, Cancer, just by telling your side, just by describing to them you're going to describe how they hurt you how it felt for you and they're going to start crying um they're going to feel very defensive yeah you're going to tell them a lot i feel like they're just they're going to kind of sit and listen okay they don't know they don't have a defense for what they've done i'm getting the sense they're just going to listen and cry okay because it's 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 a horrible it's a very sad story you know what was done to you was terrible all right and i feel like this person totally shattered you you know they completely broke your heart and they left you behind they just left you there so you get to tell your side of the story to this person and i'm telling you they they start bawling you could be dealing with um a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person, they want you forever, Cancer. They want to try to make things right, but they I feel like they realize at this moment when you start telling them how you feel, they realize they may never get you back after what they've done, nor do they deserve you. Okay? All right, what else can you show me? I'm not so sure that this this um, talk is going to last very long, Cancer. Yeah, especially with justice out here. I feel like you speak your piece and that's it. And you send this person away to think about everything. Okay? Um, yeah, and they may realize that um, they were very immature. Okay, but you're also, I feel like at the end of the conversation, you may tell this person that you've met someone new or you're going to start dating someone new. Okay, and that's just going to, it's kind of going to ruin them. You know, it's going to break their heart. But Cancer, I see you completing this cycle here. I see you both completing a cycle. I don't think you're going to take this person back. Okay, I don't think you're going to take them back, but you finally get to speak out about how this person made you feel. You have been silent. You haven't said boo to anybody since this happened to you, okay? And I feel like it happened to you. You didn't do anything to provoke this kind of heartache. You didn't do anything wrong to this person, you didn't do anything wrong to their family if everybody wants you back in, okay? And Cancer, I feel like um, you've been silent this whole time um, through the heartache, through the betrayal, right? Fighting the spiritual attacks, right? And just trying to heal and build yourself back up. You haven't said anything to anybody about how all of this has made you feel, but you're about to explain it now. When this person comes in, they're coming in to apologize to you, but this is an opportunity for you also to describe how this person, how what happened to you made you feel, okay? And it's it'll feel like a release. It will. It's going to feel good. It's going to be emotional, but it's going to it's you're going to know that um this is a huge accomplishment for you, finally being able to tell your story and to, to describe how you feel to the person who hurt you, okay? Yeah, you're giving them a tower moment, Cancer. You're bringing this thing down. I feel like, you know, this is you dropping or picking up the mic, telling this person how you feel and dropping the mic and walking away you'll finally be able to walk away from this whole entire situation, okay? Because you'll finally be able to get the truth out. 
you know, to tell your, your side of the story. Yeah, it's going to hurt this person. And I feel like these actually, these 10 swords here, these are the burdens. You're basically, basically everything you say to them, right? Each one of these swords is something that you've been feeling that you release and you give this person back that pain that they caused you. Do you see what I'm saying? Everything they did to you, they're going to hear about on a deep level. They're going to feel that. And now they get to carry the pain of what they did to you. Knowing that they sabotaged themselves when they sabotaged you, they lost the best thing they're ever going to find, Cancer. Okay? And um, I feel like you end this cycle, you complete the cycle by, you know, just releasing all of that that you've been holding inside. You know what I'm saying? You've been holding it all inside. You get to finally let it out, okay? You get to finally speak your piece here. And then they end up with the pain that you felt, okay? They have to think about that for the rest of their days. That's the tower moment. I don't want cancer saying basically, here's how I feel. I don't want to feel that way anymore. I don't want to think about it anymore. I'm giving all of that pain back to you. So you close out this cycle having a huge victory here for yourself. And they're closing out the cycle coming in, coming in with an apology. But in the end, you defeat this person. They're feeling so defeated here. Um, in a lot of pain, it's it's going to be, they're going to be very emotional, but I feel like you send this person away, Cancer, after giving them the truth. You guys, I'm going to take this into an extended, okay, um, because I want to see what happens next. Are they going to keep trying? Are they going to come back in and try to make this work? Are they going to try to do something to, um, I don't know how they're going to make it better, what they did to you, but are they going to try? Anyway, if you guys are interested in that, there's a link to follow in the description box below. It'll take you straight to Patreon, okay? And um, yeah, Cancer, I'm proud of you. You're going to be proud of yourself. You're going to handle this really well. It, you're not going to yell, you're not going to scream, you're not going to even swear. I feel like you're, um, you're just going to speak your truth calmly and release it all. That's what you're doing. You're releasing it all. You just have to get it out to the right person, the one who actually hurt you. You know, and you give them all of the pain, all of the swords back from what they did to you, okay? Ooh, anyway, my darlings, um, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.